So Saul was appointed to be the king by God. But see, the thing about Saul is he kept messing up. Um, he was told to go take over the Amalekites and destroy them all, don't keep anything, and he keeps all the best livestock for himself. He just failed a lot. Do you ever feel like you fail a lot? Yes, okay. Quick answer, easy answer is yes. I feel like I fail a lot. So Samuel, who is God's prophet, is on the way to talk to Saul, King Saul, and he's looking for him and he found out that Saul was in another town building a monument for himself. The word of the Lord came to Samuel. I regret that I have made Saul king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed my commandments. And Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning. And it was told Samuel, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he has set up a monument for himself. And Samuel said, Though you are little in your own eyes, are you not the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? See, the thing about Saul is God gave him everything he needed to succeed. He gave him anointing. He gave him a spirit. He literally told him, do X, Y, Z, and you will succeed. But he didn't really fear God. He didn't listen, and he kept disobeying. So of course he's gonna have this complex and scripture even tells us that although he is big, he actually feels small. Do you know that God has given you everything you need to succeed for him, to build his kingdom, to love others well, to serve and to glorify him? Yet we feel small and we feel inadequate and sometimes we build monuments. Maybe they're not physical monuments, they're probably not, but we do things like try to project a false sense of perfect life on Instagram, or we do things like get into conversations and make everything about us and always tell our stories and always talk about ourselves, Or maybe we gossip about others so that it makes us look bigger or feel better. There's so many things, and you probably know your own sin in your life, that you do to monument build because you feel small and you feel inadequate and you don't remember that as a believer, you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit to help you live well and serve well, but instead you may retreat to fearing man instead of putting God first and monument build. I think the first thing that we need to do is just realize that we cannot be big on our own. We have the capability to do it, but it's not by our own strength. That humility that says, God, I need your strength is really the foundation for not feeling like we need to seem big and strong all the time to other people. Second, I think you should take a moment and reflect where in your life are you monument building? Where are you making yourself seem bigger and more impressive and more capable and more self-sufficient than you really are? Is it gossiping and putting others down? Is it living a fake life online? Is it never confessing your sin to anyone because you don't want them to ever see that you're fragile? I mean, we all are. What is your monument building? So the next time that you are tempted to fish for compliments or make everything about you or make yourself look amazing and take the glory from the Lord, just pause and remember that God actually wants to use your weakness. Your weakness is a stage for his strength. The glory isn't for you. Give the glory to him. Don't take those actions to steal the glory for yourself, but say, God, I want you to be glorified and I want to be honest with my life in the process. I'm weak and that's okay.